afternoon and good evening. It is I just made a she sure wisdom. <laughs> and I thought I'd do something a little different today, kind of stand and not be sitting. So um of course it's I just made a she. And I come to provide you with your daily devotional for today. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Um, make sure that you like so that it can stay relevant in your timeline. And then make sure that you share it with your family and friend. Um, wisdom is something that we all need in this journey called life, right? You know, life hits you harder than any other thing ever. So um, that is pure wisdom's purpose, to help you feel lighter, to help you know that you're not doing it alone and wisdom will get you through. Um, so our scripture for today came from Psalm chapter 9 verses 10 and it states, and those who know your name will put their trust in you for you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Let me read it again. And those who know your name will put their trust in you for you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So, really knowing that your father, your most high creator, um, the divine creator of this vast universe, right, is inside each and every one of us. And knowing that when you seek, you shall find, just as the scriptures state, you will seek and know that it is the father that is with you. Um, know that everything that you have inside you is of this internal essence of this universe. Everything that was made up in the universe, the sun, the moon, the stars, is made up and designed within you. So know that you have that unlimited access and all you have to do is ask. All you have to do is open yourself up, open your heart and allow yourself to feel, to know that you are connected to all there is. So knowing that you're connected to all there is, how do you know that? How do you know? You will receive synchronicities. You will get aha moments. You will just know something without someone have to tell you. You know, they say the intuitive feeling. That intuitive feeling is just your most high creator giving you the nudges, the thoughts, the feelings, the visions inside of yourself. That is the right thing for you to do. So know that the Father is within you. The Father is in within each and every one of us. So it is your duty to allow yourself to be open. Uh, allow your heart to open up to all there is. Not being resistant because I know in this physical world, you know, a lot of times we get frustrated, um, you know, with people, places, and things, and it kind of bothers us. But what I am here to say to you today is, your faith makes you whole, just as the scriptures say. And those who know your name will trust you and seek you. When you know that your most high creator is greater, when you know that you're intentional and you're doing the things that you're supposed to do, you're following the nudges. Now, people come around you and give you confirmations and give you validation, whether that's a TV, whether that's radio, advertisement, billboard, whatever. That is the Father communicating to you the signs, the wonders of this vast universe. Know that everything around you is a message. <clears throat> everything around is a message. So what are you ignoring? That is a message for you. Um, what are you not paying attention to or what are you not getting? Are you waking up in the wee hours of the morning, you know, consistently, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning? Are you seeing numbers that, you know, one, 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 two, 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 you know, five, 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 four, 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 any of those numbers, one, two, three, four, synchronicities, whether you see birds, birds, birds speak to people. You know, I receive my connections through many, many, many ways, but I just wanted to share with you how your father communicates with you. So I want you to take this time today to pay attention to the signs and the of uh, signs and wonders all around you because it is the Father, just as the scripture state, that is within you. But when you seek to know, everything is open and unveiled to you. So I want you to take your time today to really, really make that connection with your creator. Make that connection with, you know, the vine of all there is. Know that God is guiding you. Know that God wants to help you. Know that God is assisting you. Sometimes, many times, you don't even know because everything that happens always happens for the highest good. So whether that's a challenge, whether that's a situation, it's always happening for the highest good. When you think of it in that mindset, when you pay attention to the signs and the wonders all around you, you really feel at peace. 
you can move through this life thing a much easier and much lighter. So I want you to pay attention to the things that's going on around you today for the rest of the week, week, uh, you know, for the rest of your life. Use this wisdom, this pure wisdom to help you connect to all there is. Feel the nudgings. Don't listen to the people on the outside. I want to challenge you today. And my challenge for you today is listening to you, not listen to anyone else, not listen to what someone else thinks they or feel that you should do. Really, really Really, really sit down and take the time to listen to you. It's all about listening. As the scripture states, it said, and those who know your name will put their trust in you. You're putting your trust in your most high creator. You're putting your trust in God that you are going to be guided, that you are going to get the clarity, the insight, the motivation that you need. You know, we are our own worst enemies. We are our own critics. So, you know, not even having the world as a critic to us, we are our own worst critic. We self-sabotage a lot. So be mindful as you go about on this day and move forward. Be mindful of how you are thinking and what you are thinking. Are you being intentional in your thought? Are you thinking positive words? Are you speaking positive actions towards your life and the life of others? Um, take the time to slow down and catch up. <laughs> so take the time and slow down and catch up. And my challenge to you is to pay attention to all of the synchronicities around you. Allow yourself to feel God. Allow yourself to feel all there is inside of you. Because as the scripture states, and those who know your name will put their trust in you. So that's your trust. You're putting your trust in something that's greater than you. You know that it's something bigger than just this physical body. So connect to that. Um, have that patience with that. Have that understanding and clarity with God and all there is because God loves you. But know that I love you too. So that is why Pure Wisdom is here to help you get that wisdom to really, really move forward in your life and not get stagnant. Because life takes toll. Life hits you hard in many, many, many ways. And, you know, a lot of people don't have encouraging people in their lives. So I want to be that encourager in your life. I want you to really take the time and just listen to the words. Close your eyes and allow yourself to feel the presence of God. Feel the presence of God, and when you feel that presence, when you seek that presence, all is given to you.